Good morning. It's Friday, November 17th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Sweet Spot of Truth, and our scripture is Ephesians chapter 4, where the Apostle Paul writes, We will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of his body, the church. In his book, Talk the Walk, pastor and author Steve Brown writes this, A number of years ago, John Whitehead, an attorney, author, and the Rutherford Institute's founder and president, gave me a bumper sticker that read in big bold letters, Speak Truth to Power. I put it on the back bumper of my car right above my Choose Life Florida license plate. It confused my friends on the right who always suspected that I was a closet liberal, and it confused my friends on the left who could not in their wildest dreams associate a pro-life message with that slogan. <laughs> when you're anywhere near the line dividing left from right, you're holding some things, at least in the middle. I've followed Pastor Steve Brown's teaching for about 20 years, and I can say with no hesitation, he finds that place which removes one from being identified politically. For a Christian, that's what golfers refer to as the sweet spot, that place on your golf club where the club face ought to strike the ball for the best distance and accuracy. The further right or left you move takes the Christian witness and message down a notch or two. News media, if you haven't noticed, love to exploit events to attract advertising revenue. That's their sweet spot, a settled business fact. You cannot pay your employees without selling soap. Last week in Charlotte, videos went viral of a woman being subdued by police with obvious physical force for allegedly smoking marijuana in public. Immediate responses were typical. The politically left side immediately crying the foul of police brutality, while the politically right side cited the police use of force as appropriate peacekeeping. The third response, one I say at the risk of putting words in Pastor Steve Brown's mouth, is, let's wait for the investigation before we burst a right or left blood vessel. Another preacher, a very good friend and close associate of Jesus, named Apostle Paul, executed by the Roman government, took that third and less traveled road of giving truth a chance to come to the winner's circle. Paul was no stranger to mob violence. According to Acts 14.19, he was stoned and dragged out of town and left for dead. Still, Paul counsels speaking the truth as did Jesus and letting truth set whatever wrong to the right. Slinging slogans around is a political club. Those who shout, speak truth to power, are presenting only half the case. We should also speak truth to the powerless. Truth is for all, and that will set anyone free if they will place the matter in the master's hand and give it time. For you today, if you lean left or lean right, try to keep in mind that leaning is the next step in falling. Falling prey to the enemy's invitation to his side. Better to rest in the sweet spot of truth with godly longsuffering than hitting your last ball of free will out of bounds. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.